So what we're going to do now is make use of these things called observable maps that we can use inside of MobX. And we're going to use these for our activities. Our activities are first class citizens in our app and a simple array to store them in doesn't feel good enough to me. And these observable maps are pretty powerful things. And we, what we can do is create a dynamic keyed observable map and these are very useful if you don't want to react to just to the change of a specific entry but also to the addition or removal of entries and when we use an observable map we get the following methods that are available on this particular property and we can see if it has a specific key we can set a key to a specific value we can delete we can get we can get all the values out of our observable map and we basically get quite a bit of extra functionality by using this. So let's make use of this in our activity store and instead of, well let's just create it first of all and I'm going to create a new observable and this one's going to be called activity registry and this is where we're obviously going to store our activities and I'm just going to say new map and close off with a semicolon so we'll need to refactor a few of our methods inside here to actually make use of this and we'll start with our load activities now the first part of this method nothing changes but instead of this activities push what we can do is say list.activity registry and then we can set each entry inside this map and in order to set an entry inside here we need to provide a key which is going to be our activity ID and then the value and this is going to be our activity itself so we'll say activity dot ID and then the activity and now our activity registry will be made up of all of our activities and we'll be able to use the key and the value whenever we want to access a particular activity. So we'll also need to change our create activity and instead of activities.push what we'll do is just do the same thing again we'll say activity registry dot set and we'll set the activity dot ID and the activity and we'll also need to adjust our select activity and instead of using list.activities.find what we can do is say list.activityregistry.get and then we can just use the key which in this case is going to be the ID to go and get our activity in this case and we'll also need to adjust our get activities by date and we still want to use an array function to sort our activities in date order and our activity registry is not an array but what we can do is we can convert this activity registry into an array and we can say return array dot from and then we can say this dot activity registry dot values and then we can sort based on this because when we use activity registry dot values then this is going to return an iterable of values in the map and then we get an array from the values inside here and then we're going to sort our activities as we were doing before now we're not going to see any difference in the output of this and if I go back to my application and I just refresh the page then we still get our activities just as we did before but the observable map gives us a bit more functionality than just a plain old array to store our activities so it's just my personal preference to to do it this way and we could just stick with an array and that would be perfectly fine but as we go ahead and, and use this hopefully you'll see the benefits of, of using this as opposed to just a normal array. So what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and add the functionality to edit an activity.